Hello, my name is Heraclitus and I will talk to you about the geometric mean. Everybody seems to know the arithmetic mean of two positive numbers, but what is the geometric mean of two positive numbers? According to Aristotle, ancient Greeks, and specifically the Pythagoreans, knew the existence of both arithmetic and geometric mean. The geometric mean expresses the notion of justice not on criteria of absolute, but relative equality. Let's see an example to understand if this notion is legitimate. Romeo wants to buy a smartphone for Juliet. He knows for sure she loves to shoot beautiful selfies and talk on the phone for hours on end. Between his two preferred options, the first phone has a 5 megapixel camera and a battery of 5500 mAh. The second option has a 10 megapixel camera and a battery of 4000 mAh. Comparing the two using the usual arithmetic mean gives us The battery size is such a big number that the resolution of the camera gets lost But the geometric means of the two phones are So comparing the two phones using the geometric mean does justice the geometric mean does justice when we want to compare things with very different properties. Let's get back to arithmetics then, to see how a geometric mean of two positive numbers is calculated. What is the geometric mean of 2 and 32? First we multiply them, then, as there are two numbers, take the square root, which means that the geometric mean of 2 and 32 is 8. More formally, the geometric mean of two positive numbers, numbers A1 and A2, is The geometric mean of n numbers from number A1 to number An is But where else could the geometric mean help us? The geometric mean is used to calculate the average percentage change. For example, let us assume that one share worth one euro earns the first year 10%, that is one euro becomes 1.1, the second year 15%, one euro becomes 1.15, and the third year 20%, that is one euro becomes 1.2. The figure below shows that at the end of the third year, one euro will have become 1.518, that is, we will have a total increase of 0.518 euros. The calculation of the arithmetic mean of performance is 15%, while the calculation of the geometric mean is... That is, the arithmetic mean overestimates the final result. Applying 15% for 3 years, applying 14.9% for 3 years. Finally, the geometric mean is relevant on those sets of data that are exponential in nature. If we knew that the Minecraft players were 270,000 at 7 am and 510,000 at 9 am and wanted to estimate their number at 8 am, how can we make an accurate estimation? If we used the arithmetic mean, then the estimate would be The geometric mean in our example would be which is a more accurate estimation.